Hi there and welcome. My name is Rebecca Weaver and we are going to be looking at compound interest today out of section 5.2 in your textbook. Compound interest, first up we're looking at non-continuous interest, is given by the formula A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R divided by M all raised to the M times T power. With this our capital P is the principal amount invested. M is the number of times per year. The interest is compounded. Now sometimes that's N in other equations. And uh, in fact, in most other textbooks, they use an N there instead of an M for the number of times per year the interest is compounded. R is the interest rate as a decimal. T is the number of years interest is being compounded. And A is the amount uh, compounded the balance after t years. In Table 5.1, we're going to look at the effect of increased compounding periods. So with the frequency of compounding annually, our balance after one year would be $1,060. Quarterly, $1,061. Monthly, $1,061.68. Daily, see how it doesn't really go up much by that increasing compound period. But I mean, that $1,000 isn't a whole lot for this to be looking at, but it still does go up some. For continuous compounding, which we're going to look at next, it, the amount would be $1,061.84. Notice that as increase, M increases the frequency of your compounding, so does your amount. Therefore, the maximum amount of interest that can be acquired when M is being compounded all the time is continuously. All right, here's the compound interest formula for continuous compounding, otherwise known as the PERT formula. Let's see if you can guess why it's called the PERT formula. A equals P E raised to the RT with all of my variables being the same amount as the uh, previous. So here's an example of continuous compounding. Now I know once it says continuous compounding, I'm just going to plop down the PERT formula. But let's say we have $10,000 invested at 6.5% interest. It's compounded continuously. I know it's PERT. When would the investment be worth $41,787? First up, put the PERT formula down. Then since the rate is 6.5%, R is going to be 0 0.065. Since we have $10,000, we're just going to write P equals $10,000. The investment A is supposed to grow to 41787 That would be our A, our amount. And then we just substitute in to our PERT formula. And then we're going to have to solve this thing. So we'll divide both sides by 10000 and then we'll rewrite it, taking the natural log of both sides. And then I'll divide both sides by 0 0.065. And we get T is 22. Therefore, the $10,000 investment will grow to $41,787 via 6.5% interest compounded continuously in 22 years. All right, another way to look at the PERT formula, if you're wanting to go backwards, notice how the A and the P are flipped here because you're looking for present value. That's just because uh, you divided both sides by that E. You didn't really have to have this formula, but they want to give it to you because you'll use it fairly often. So if we have an investment analysis example, we have an investment and it's going to earn 5.1% interest compounded continuously and it's currently growing at a rate of $765 per year. What's the current value of the investment? You know you got to write down PERT. Now, since the problem involves rate of change, we're also going to use a little calculus here. So we will take the derivative of my A and I'll get that the derivative is a prime equals R times whatever A was. Okay, so that means R times P E to the R T is what that's going to mean when we plug that in. Since the investment is growing at a rate of $765 per year, that's our A prime. And our R is going to be 0 0.051. So here's our given function. We know what A prime is. We know what R is. 
to solve for a, that's 15,000. Therefore, the value of a for this situation is 15,000. We can now use this and determine the formula for p. So here's our present value formula. Plugging in what we know and just crunching those numbers. Our present value is $14,254.18. There we have it. And that concludes this section. If you have any questions, be sure and email me. Thank you all.